some of the different kind of cultural elements that have changed over time. And then at the end you can ask me any questions that you'd like. So um, one of my research interests is actually Halloween. Uh, I, I research festivals um, and I'm a folklorist, so I did a PhD in folklore and ethnology and I researched uh, contemporary paganism and how modern day pagans celebrate the different festivals. And I'm also um, interested in, in death rituals, so I'll explain um, what death symbolically has to do with uh, Halloween and Samhain. And I also re research fairies and supernatural beings, uh, which also overlaps with Samhain. So I'll explain, I'll explain the different, um, how the different things interconnect. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I tend okay. to talk really low. <coughs> if I'm talking low, just tell me and I'll, I'll speak up. So Samhain uh, is a, I'll explain what the word means first of all. So it means, um, it's an inversion or it's like a, the flip side of, of Saura, which is summer in Irish. So there's the, the old Irish language, which, which is a dead language, um, and modern Irish developed from old Irish. And uh, the pronunciation of the, the old words um, are unclear. So. Um, it's, it's not, we're not fully sure. Uh, in, in modern Irish it's Samhain, but it's thought that it would have been Savwain in Old Irish, like more like a V sound uh, rather than the, the way we pronounce the MH now. And that's because the root words, the etymology, the history of the words, um, it's from Sav, which is uh, that root word meaning summer. In Irish it's Saura, from the same word and Fuin, which is end, so Safwen, Safwen. Um, so the, the Celts, the Celtic peoples, um, we don't know the, a huge amount in terms of detail about their, their religious lives or their specific beliefs because we're relying on mythology. So uh, myth just means a story and mythology can be understood as a collection of sacred stories so the, the pantheon or the gods and goddesses of the, the, you know, the old gods of Europe. And um, there's different mythologies associated with different gods and different landscapes and peoples. So in Ireland, we have the Celtic mythology um, and there's many parallels between Ireland and other Celtic regions. So I'll come back to that again. So the, the mythology tells us something about Samhain about how the ancient peoples, the ancestral peoples of Ireland celebrated the different festivals because there, there is some description in those texts and um, the early Irish literature that's called the mythology and there's also archaeological evidence um, of what people did in terms of celebration. So, um, but those two sources don't give us the complete picture uh, of what exactly the, the ancestral peoples or the Celts um, would have done at Samhain. So we only have hints of what, of what they did, but some of it has continued on. So I'll explain um, as I go along some of the different things that have continued, persevered right up until the present day um, in terms of celebrating or observing Samhain. And it's thought that the Celtic peoples, um, that they measured time by nights rather than days. So that might sound a bit strange, but uh, we tend to think of time in a very linear way as, as days. You know, we have, we have calendars and, and diaries with the days laid out. And um, if you think of the year as being a circle, um, the, the cycles of the festivals make more sense. And the beginning in darkness and um, this is something that has continued right until today in terms of the traditional festivals or the ritual year, as it's called, the annual cycles. So at Samhain, it's the start of winter. Um, on the, the, in our calendar, it's the 31st of October through November 1st. So the festival begins in the evening. So it's the evening through to the next day. And similarly, um, Bjautina, which is the traditional start of summer on the 1st of May, begins on the eve, so there's various customs um, that people do on uh, the evening before on, on Bjautina, like walking the boundaries of their land, um, and then on, on May Day itself, there's certain customs that you do and certain things that people believe about that day itself. So the other 
Uh, so I'll just give you an idea of the festival structure. Um, if you try to visualize a circle, there's the traditional start um, of the winter is on Samhain, so in our calendar, October 31st through November 1st. Uh, but it doesn't actually matter the exact day, because if you're thinking of a circle, um, the festivals are across from each other like an axis. So it's Samhain on, on one side, and that's directly across from it is Bjautna. So 